All right, we're live. We're live, people. Um, I'm here with the um, the stunning but late license plate guy. The guy has just no consideration for other people. Go. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> oh, my God. Ba-da, 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 reverse. Ba-da, ba-da, ba-da. What's going on? What's happening, man? Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry your phone wasn't working and you couldn't get me on. That's exactly what it was. That's exactly yeah, what it was. No <laughs> um, What's I, happening, I, man? How's not much. How's it first place? Huh? How does it feel to be in first place? Kind of. Kind of. It it feels good, man. It's been a while. Um, like it's just we're just relevant. We're relevant right now. It's weird to like when you put ESPN on and then like I think the Giants are going to win the division. It's like man, that's yeah. it feels weird. You know, it feels like being us against the world and then the world taking us down year in year out. So it's- hey, I got I I I got to give you credit right there. That's a, a ridiculous word to use. It's phenomenal, actually. Uh, relevant is the right choice of words. I think everybody should use it because, you know, Jesus, we're in November. Oh, Thanksgiving. We're talking about we're talking about something other than the draft. That's incredible. I know. I actually I actually had people get mad at me for for sa- saying anything about the draft. Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Go, oh, you wait, you're getting people that are mad at you for talking about the draft? Well, we did a bye week episode with a couple of people, like round table, and so like I saw it. That's right, I saw it. I saw it. You talk about the off season a little bit. Like, why are these people talking about the off season? Like, well, it's yeah. the bye week. You no, know, we're what? not going to break down I, the Eagles game for the fifth time. I think, I exactly. I think uh, it's damned if you do and damned if you don't. Like, like I say this all the time, and and we'll talk about what's going on on Twitter these days. But I say it all the time. People like you, uh, talking Giants, Justin, uh, a few other guys that I've seen that go out there and really bust their ass on the metrics and the stats and this and that, like put in a tremendous amount of work. Um, Yes. You do have to start talking about positions of need draft and stuff like that. The common fan, and I'm going to throw myself in that, in that category. I don't want to talk about anything, but next week's opponent. So, so yeah, you're going to, you're going to get, you know, you're going to get both sides. And uh, if they yell at you for that, then you get the people that aren't yelling you for talking about the draft, so you can't win. Yeah, and it, it, for me, it's, like, it's the bye week. Okay, let get, let's, we got to figure out something to talk about. Um, well, one, I would like to my my hair. This is probably the best my hair's looked since uh, you know, with the stream with you. It's it's you know it's got kind of like a little blowout, so that's that's always good. Before we get into some questions, what's what's going on Friday on your Instagram? Oh, thanks for asking. Uh, that's funny. Um, so. Listen, Talking Giants uh, was there when I was uh, – I had to cancel the softball event. Um, it was really hard for me to do that. But once again, what was I going to do, have a couple thousand people there and no players or have all the players there and no fans? So it was the right thing to do, and I've been trying to to do something since then. I even tried to put that tailgate together, and the NFL crushed me. So, yeah, you know, that sucked. 2020 just – not only did it suck, I had uh, 200 and, 206 or 207 tickets sold. I mean, I had a, I had a tailgate going, but uh, whatever. I, you know what? I never I never really get mad at stuff like that. But anyway, uh, Friday, I decided, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to freaking start, you know, unloading some stuff, you know? What? And, yeah, I just, I don't know, just like – Go around and be like, okay, cool. Uh, hey, I've had this, I've had this Justin Tuck picture forever signed. I mean, I don't have enough wall space, you know, to put it on. Am I gonna keep it here forever, or am I gonna? How cool is this pic? Like, like you know, things that I've had forever. I like that. Right. I think he wrote Justin Tuck wrote this for me. He's like, this isn't a good pic of me. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he wrote i love that this isn't a good pick of me just sign it i like it so you know um, like so anyway uh gonna put some stuff up see if we can make some money for the for the charity and the the funny part about that is i'm telling you right now bobby i'm gonna get people that are gonna tune in and i'm gonna put up um uh, i'm gonna put up a, a, a player's cleat right the size of my head but anyway i'm gonna put up a player's cleat and I'm gonna go. All right, let's uh, start the bidding at three hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars? What are you out of your mind, LPG? It's it's. This isn't a garage sale. You're not. I'm not gonna sell something for fifty cents. I'm not gonna sell something for five dollars. If it's in my cave, it's either staying here forever or we better make some money. Right. 
Yeah, man. And actually, I'm not going to put this negative energy in, out, out. But it's like, <laughs> I was just thinking, like, because we were talking about, like, we we're just like where things are going. I'm like, man, next year is like crazy too. Like, and I'm not just talking about the softball, but it's like, it was like, we don't know what's going to happen next year. So, um, no, man, I don't, I don't, I doubt it. We're only talking six months away. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to run the game because, because even if I decide to run it, I'm definitely going to have some players with families that are going to be like, Oh, LPG, I really want to come, but maybe next year. So, yeah. I normally get anywhere between 80 and 100 players to come. So could you imagine if I only get 30? I'd have everybody coming at me. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it. Right. Yeah, man. It's it's uh it's weird times, man. It's weird times. So we'll get into some of the questions. I want to start way, it off. Did you, know, did you know whose cleat this was? No, whose is that? It's red. So it's not it's not an offensive lineman. Offensive lineman won't wear red cleats. Correct. He was the MVP last week. Last week. MVP oh. last week. There's nobody on offense. Who is it? Vernon. <laughs> oh, I was like, I was like, what are you? I was I was thinking Giants players. I know you, are, I know. Well, he was a giant, baby. Yeah, That's look at Vernon. I'm like, I'm like, what a what a what a great cleat cle to grab when we're talking right now. He was a beast, bro. He was a I know. beast. I know. Um, so I want to ask you this. We talked a little bit about it last week. This, and I know people are, you know, you get killed if you bring up a topic that's kind of relevant. What did you make out of this whole Colombo stuff, man? I mean, I, it was a kind of, like, that was a pretty crazy story. Like every little detail that came out of it. So did you happen to see my tweets or not really? Which one? I mean, I, I see your tweets, but I don't, you know, I don't know which one you're talking about. No, uh, well, obviously the Colombo one. So, oh yeah, so yeah. Yeah. All right. So if you could read between my tweets, um, I knew about the I knew about the firing. I I knew about the argument the night before. I knew about Judge not being the one to fire him. And I knew it was a security guard. But I also can't tweet that. I'm not a beat writer. I'm not someone that's going to break the news because I, I, it brings on a lot of pressure. And I tell you, I told you this and I'll tell everybody when you start breaking news, you lose trust of the players and the coaches that even trust you to begin with, to tell you anything. So the person I heard it from was like, you know, keep it under wraps. And I did. Um, but what did I make of it? At the end of the day, get your big cowboy ass out of here because you had rumblings with the head coach who's trying to build something and there's only one sheriff in town and if you can't abide by those rules and you don't like that he was bringing a a a not only an excellent line coach not only knowing about the giants organization and probably the players but someone that you look up to so if yeah. you can't if you can't deal with that, you got to go. And I thought Judge made an unbelievable statement. Let me ask you something, Bobby. As a Giants fan, Giants always, as fans, we're always used to waiting to the end of the season for something. We're always used to the organization saying, oh, not now, or maybe in the offseason. Maybe in the offseason it doesn't even happen. Judge is not like that, bro. I love it. I know. I, know. I, I, I wasn't totally sold on him. That last week was like, okay, I'm I'm in on Joe Judge. Good. I Do you know what the word. word was? And did it start with an F? Uh no, it started with a C. Oh, really? I was thinking like that doesn't really make any sense. That that's what it was. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See you next Tuesday was the was was it. Called him a cracker. Um he called him a cracker. <laughs> All right, let's get into some questions from the people. Um <laughs> let's see. Is this a grateful dead pot? <laughs> um <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, you know it's funny. I haven't seen you in a long time, and your hair is growing out. Then you bring me back on. I don't like that. I know. Well, like, like I said, the first two times we had you on were like fresh off of me, like just shaving my head. <laughs> and it's, it like it was almost like I was doing it on purpose. <laughs> like I'm not gonna try and be associated with this long-haired freak. Um, 
Uh, let's see what the question. Like I said, we got draft questions in here. We're not going to do the draft. Uh, no, I, I'm I'm open for anything, but yeah, let's talk about the Giants at first place, baby. Come on. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Let's see. It's all the O line stuff. We're getting ourselves in trouble. Yeah. Oh, well, we here's one. Say, Finally, uh, we can talk about it. Finally, we can talk about it. I've been, I've been. People have been asking me when he's coming back. Like, I have any clue? I don't have any clue. Well, guess what? We're there. He's back. I mean, how excited are you? Like, it didn't hit me today until they posted the picture of him in the pads, where it's like, oh my gosh, our second round pick. We get to see him play finally, and we get to see him play, and he's going to come out there flying. You know, the coolest thing about him uh, is that it's going to it it literally has a different. Like, I love it. It's literally going to bring a different dimension to that, to that offense. I mean, to that defense. What, what are you doing? Where are you moving the pieces? Tell me. Tell exactly. me what you would do. That's, that's the thing. And I love Patrick Graham. And with Logan Ryan in place, Jabril Peppers in place. I want him like, coming down. I want him playing. Me too. I want him playing. You do? I didn't, haven't met a lot of people that said the same thing. See, before the season – when I didn't really know what to expect out of Patrick Graham, our take was like, hey, he's going to play down and Peppers is probably going to play high a little bit. I'm, okay, and, I'm good with that. He's fast and he's a ball hawk. I'm so good with that. Yeah. So uh, they're not going to come in and play him 80%. Like I, ex I expect them to, you know, give him, you know, a, th a third maybe. Like they're not, they're not going to give him the full game. I mean, if they do, they do. That'd be cool. But I'm just, I can't, like, like I said, where does he go? I don't know. But I just can't wait to see. Like I just cannot wait to see how they have this new toy who doesn't really fit into a cookie cookie cutter free safety, a cookie cutter yeah. strong safety, a cookie co corner. He's just a football player. And going into the season, I didn't really. I was like, I don't know where they fit. But now that we see Patrick Graham is like a genius and plays to his guy's strengths, now I'm just like, I just can't wait to see how they use this guy. There you go. You that's it. You hit the nail on the head. I'm looking forward to seeing what they're gonna do. Someone asked me today. The same uh, same thing Sammy just asked about Xavier. And I'm saying – and and he was like, what are you going to do? And how are you going to get him on the field? And X-Men and this and that. I'm like, I don't know if you heard, but the Giants filed for an exemption. And they're going to have 13 players allowed to play on D uh, for this game. And the guy was like, are you serious? I'm like, no, no. <laughs> but but the, the, the point is I am looking forward to seeing whether they're going to play him. Personally, I would bring him down. I would even – I'd put him in the slot. I would put him at linebacker. Just let him go. Let him go and make a bunch of tackles. Um, I I think he's going to fly around the ball, and I do agree. I think he's going to get fifty percent of the snaps on D. Yeah, I just I mean I can't wait to see how they use him. <clears throat> yeah, Gary, me too. Gary Clark, team we're most likely. Everyone's been talking about these three games: Arizona, yeah. Baltimore, Seattle. Everyone's has their take of we could steal which one. Which out of those games would you say like the Giants have the best chance to steal one from? Well, uh, that's such a it's actually a really good question because obviously it's a guess. Um, everybody would be guessing at this time, and and everybody brings up those three games because I think we all have Cincinnati as a win. Or I mean, Cincinnati I mean, we have as a win. I, it's scary now. Now there's so much expectations. It's scary. The Cowboys is a must win. It, the, Cowboy, it's it's going to be for the division. Yeah, like the Cowboys, if you lose that game, then nothing else really matters, you know, unless you end up beating two of these teams, which – Right. And then so, the, the Browns are a team where – the Browns are better than us, but it's a team where it's like you look at it and you're like, that's that's a winnable game if we play good, you know, where these games it's like stuff's got to go right. It's really funny you said that because I'm scared of the Browns coming in. I, yeah, I am. I'm not. I'm not. That's I, the thing. I, I know we should be. They're 7-3. and three. They do a lot of things well. But I'm just, I'm just not afraid of that team for some reason. And Paul, Paul's part of it is I've just been so cocky going into the Browns game for the last two years. I've had that game on my schedule, where it's, I just had kind of have like that war mentality for that game. Well, you're, you know, you're a big war guy, but I did you have that mentality because it's the Browns, or did you have it because of like Vernon and Odell and Kevin Zeidler? I mean, did you, did you just have it because of Baker war? sucks? I watch the Browns every week because I do an O-line video of Wills. Yeah, 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 Baker is not good. Like he just, he just misses guys, and I, I trust Patrick Graham to really screw with that team. He he misses guys. He also puts some. He also puts some, some balls on the money. He's yeah. a he's a bipolar quarterback. What I'm saying that's but with Patrick Graham, 
those are the QBs I like to go against. You know, like with we're not taking the conservative guy who's just going to take here and there, or you know, the obviously the best guys are the best guys. You don't want to play against them, but it's those middle guys that will take chances and make mistakes. Those are the guys that I love going up against with Patrick Graham. All right, so getting back to 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 Jarrett Garrett, what is it, Uh, Clark? I will tell you that McKinney is going to shadow Murray, Jones, and Wilson. How do you like that? Who's? I mean, are you calling? Are you calling Lamar Jackson Daniel Jones now since he's so fast? Oh my God! I, I, you know, Vanilla Vic. I did. I did. Just called him Jones. But yes, I am, and I, <laughs> I do believe the Giants. The Giants. I don't think Murray's all that. I think the Giants Me beat either. Arizona. I think they go in and beat uh, Lamar Jones. Yes, on purpose. I think they do beat uh, Baltimore in Baltimore, and uh, Seattle is going to be a loss in Seattle. And I never really say that, but I believe they'll walk away with two out of three of what he just posted. If there's one, Seattle, like, I just don't trust this. Baltimore, I get they've had their struggles, but they're still a really good team. Like, their struggles are against the best teams, and they lose by, like, one possession. True. Arizona's the one for me because their offense, Kyler's having a great year, but their offense really is DeAndre Hopkins. And we got James Bradbury, who played well against him last year, and Kyler's one of those QBs who will make some mistakes if you force him to not just go to DeAndre Hopkins all game. So that's the team, and I feel like we can score on – that's the team where if we're going to steal one, Arizona is the one for me. I, I, I'm on board. I'm on board with Arizona and Baltimore, but I'm definitely, I definitely hear you with Arizona, and I totally agree with it. I like it. I like it. Um, Let's see. Here's one. It hasn't been as bad lately. Do you think we should stick with Evan Ingram at this point? <clears throat> so, you know, I can't believe some of the stuff that – you know, us fans have said about him, rightfully so. But when the hate pours out of people, it really pours out of people. Yeah. And as a, as a you know, listen, he lost the Philly game, 100%. He almost lost another game. He drops the most disgusting passes and makes very difficult catches. And that is when the people will get on Twitter and be like, this is why you don't get rid of him. And he makes up, he drops this. this. Is why you do get rid of him. It is a such a long process to believe in an athlete. You can't teach, you know, athletic ability like that. You got to pray he gets better at the catches and the blocking. This is why you didn't give up on him because he really did come through the last couple of games. And you got to sit back and wait. What what was the offer again? Didn't those couple teams reach out for Evan? I heard that like. There was like a, a second. I I heard the Giants weren't g- giving up for anything but a first, which I just I have a hard time believing rumors after the fact. Like whenever they come out a week two after, I just have a hard time believing them. A first round pick? I doubt that. A second? I mean, I would trade him for a second. I would have. I would have too. I didn't hear second. I did hear third, and I always acquaint That's probably third, what it was. Right. I always acquaint third with like Leonard Williams. Leonard Williams is better than a third. And yeah. I everybody and we have I have this argument back and forth and I would choose Leonard Williams over a third round pick any day of the week. Well, you know what? I'd say the same thing about Evan Ingram. Even after what he's been through or what he's shown us and not shown us, still would have kept him if you just give me a third. Yeah, especially if we use him the right way, which they have been doing a little more yes. lately. Yes. A little, I like, agree. Beginning of the season, like that touchdown against Washington, we didn't see that. We saw that route one time over like six weeks. Right. Um, they're using right. him, like they're starting to use him a little better. Where it's, he's not leading the team in targets. He shouldn't be leading the team in targets, but he should have those those plays. And I think I that's agree. the way they hey, use him. Before you get to the next one, uh, real quick, because you brought it up, and I don't know if, if, if we're going to touch on this or not. So I'm just going to bring it up. I, I don't believe any of those rumors about uh, uh, Jason Garrett. Not one rumor. Not one. The ones I heard were from Mike Lombardi, and then people, a couple people messaged me because I listened to his podcast, and they're like, "Hey, Lombardi is more of an entertainer than an insider." So true, but, but I think it, I think it started with Jason, the same one about the fight, and then he brought up that that what you would call it's not safe as well. Oh, Macint- Jason McIntyre. No, Jason uh, with a Garulo. 
Kader, K- Jason with a C, I think it is. Anyway, it, it I think it started with with him. The reason he started the woman to fight. What's his come come? Oh, La Conforta or something like that. Something. Correct, correct. He started the one with the fight. I knew right away, so that's why I tweeted. I'm like, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's false. I know it is, and it was false. And then he came back with the Jason Garrett thing. I think it was him, and yeah. I didn't believe that at all. I still don't believe it. But it goes back to what you said, though. Use him in the right way. So does he have his faults? Yes, but we're not inside the organization. We're not in the practice. We're yeah. not. I don't know if Jason Garrett thinks he has every single player where he can run that play and still give the blocking up front. So I don't know, and I'll never kill him for that, but there's no way he's going anywhere. No way. You don't, you think there's no way? Cause I, I think there's, I think there's no way he's, he's safe. We'll see. We'll see. I'm, I, no doubt. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to hear what I want to hear and I don't want to hear that. So I'm going to ignore you on that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. Um, Oh, I wanted to ask you about this real quick. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to ask you. I was going to ask no, you. About the, I was going to ask you about the what uh, the Jordan Ron on stuff. Yeah, you yeah, know, bring it. Bring everything. Bring everything. What do you think don't, of that? Because I thought what he was trying to me, don't tell me what you thought. I want to see if we're on the same page. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you right now that I didn't say anything yesterday. I read everybody's tweets. I didn't say a word today. Today I had the convo because it was still going on. So the God's honest truth, Jordan was right. Hold on. What he said had complete merit. There's 95% of the people out there, 90% of the people out there that are full of shit. They will get their information. They will put it out there like it's their own. Say they have sources. And then in their bio say, for business inquiries, hit my email up. Shut the F up. However, there's 5% of the people that sit there, and I wrote this in a tweet today, like you, like like Talking Giants, like Rush, a bunch of other people, Justin, there's a bunch of other people that will sit there and literally break down film. Nobody does it like the insiders, but but break down film and and come up with these stats. Sorry, come up. No, it got me good. Hold on, I was I was trying to be serious. Come up with these stats. <laughs> Justin wrote "War and Peace" today. I read that thing. So so there there is a percentage that really does hard work, Bobby. They really do, and. And you can't, you can't deny that. So Jordan should have at that person. He should not have grouped anybody for that. He was dead wrong, but what he said held weight. I, I kind of agree with you hundred percent. People steal stuff all the time. Um, and they, like, they do it from us. Like they'll see, and they'll literally that clip, like we'll crop our names out and stuff. Um, <laughs> people like, even like, not even just that. Like, I found a video of mine, like, the, like an Andrew after the Tampa game. Where I was like, look at what Andrew Thomas got better at. An Instagram account clipped that video and put it on their Instagram. They didn't tag me. What they did is they tagged me. Like, like on Instagram, you can tag someone in the video, but you don't have to add them in the description. So I didn't gain any followers from that. Now people went in there and like, why are you stealing this from Bobby? But anyways, people do that. And what what people don't realize is one. They get he gets people people who do what he does get so much hate, especially when you work with ESPN because people hate ESPN. They hate him. You, you get he gets so many like that reply to him. I thought was a was like all he did was talk about a story with the Colombo stuff that Judge talked for the first time. He cleaned up some and people were trashing him for it. That's all he did. The issue is like you said that tweet that he had sucked, where it, it made everyone who feels like everyone did it like. Like they didn't like he just didn't like anybody who did podcasts or videos and stuff. Yeah. Because when I first saw it, I was like, "Oh, I guess Jordan doesn't like what we do," which you know wasn't like cr- I wasn't gonna cry about it. And then I was like, "You know what? Let me." I I, I tweeted at him a playful response just to be like, "Hey, I'm not mad at you, but just having some fun with it." Um, 
Dude, and then he mentioned that? me on his podcast, and I love hearing my name, so that made me feel a lot better too. Did you? Did you? Did what? Did he write back? He sent me a message. He's just like, "Hey, I wasn't talking no, no, about no. you." No, 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 it's not what I asked. Did he tweet you back? No, but he was getting blown up yesterday, so I don't I blame him for that. I understand that, but he also didn't tweet me back, and he sent me a message. You know, basically, thank you. But I wrote him back. I said, "Don't thank me." Because I wasn't on your side because you should have added the person. I just don't think he deserved all the hate, like you said. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 he, he what well, his tweet sucked. His tweet sucked, and I think he would admit that. It sucked. He went about it the wrong way. That's it. He should have added that person or the two, the three, the four, the five that he thinks are Steelers. That's it. But when yeah. you group people, you're going to get yourself in trouble. That's all. Yeah, yeah. And Twitter sucks. Like people don't realize what it like to get people to hate, like hate on you. And I'm at like a much lower level than you, much lower level than him. But there is times where like somebody won't like what you say, and you'll just get hate, hate, hate. And it's like some, you just want to like punch somebody through the screen, but you can't do that. You remember, remember when we first talked a year ago? Yeah, I'm said, good. I'm I, I'm better at uh, I, last year. I would just go off on people. Like I was like anybody I, who I, wants them, come get it. Now it's like once in a bloom. Yep, yeah, once once again. I will tell you that I got information from Fireman Ed 10 years ago, maybe even a dozen years ago. And he's like, you're becoming pretty well known. Watch out because the hate will come worse. And I'm like, well, okay, buddy, you guys suck. And it's, <laughs> you know, I didn't know what to say. And sure enough, I mean, he was, he was dead on. And unfortunately, like we say, the hate, you just hear it a lot louder than the love. That's all. Yeah, yeah. Um, CFC asks opinions on Andrew Thomas. Sweet. Look, um, uh, what is it, CFC? CFC? We'll call CFC. It's a, it's a woman in the picture. We'll call her Caroline. CFC. Caroline. We'll call her Caroline. Caroline. Um, Caroline. I, I would love to know your opinion as well. You're talking to the number one Andrew Thomas fan in the world and the guy over there with the short hey, hair. I, I, I have not been bragging about that, to be honest. No, 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 no. <laughs> but you can now because there's a couple of things I want to I want to answer for Caroline. One, holy cow, you want to talk about someone uh, receiving hate? You might as well call him uh, Andrew Thomas Rainin. So uh, he was getting blown up. Um, he did not look like the number one pick. He's his footwork was terrible. He looked lost. Everybody tore him up. The beat writers, uh, the fans, non-fans tore him up. Eric Flowers squared. I don't know if Coach Judge has anything had anything to do with it. I don't know if Colombo straightened him out after messing him up. I don't know any of that stuff. And no one should 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 say that they do. But he has pulled it together, and he's put together some awesome games. And if he if he misses a block here and there or has a penalty, you know you'll look past it now. Where they would stand out four or five weeks ago, I think he's playing well. Yeah, yeah, like it hasn't been perfect, but compared, and I remember after the Tampa game, I remember being like Mark Colombo like taught Andrew Thomas something, and now it's like, oh, actually, it was Joe Judge. Actually, it was Joe Judge. <laughs> here's a, here's something I was thinking about today that I'm semi worried out because we kind of just took that like Joe Judge working with the O line and ran with it. Here's my worry is like maybe that wasn't as much as it was made out to be. Wait, which 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 one? Colombo you know that like the idea that Joe Judge like basically took over the O line the last three weeks. You know what's funny? Let's why not run with that? Colombo's not here anymore. Let us be. Let us be like the savior. Uh, he's going to save every position coach now. Why not run with it? Who gives a shit? And there was noticeably differences. It wasn't just he just played like he was doing different things. So I definitely think. Uh, yeah. So you know what? Somebody tweeted. God darn it. I wish. Man, I wish I remembered. But somebody was like, I can't believe that. I don't know. Not me. This, this was the tweet. I can't believe I didn't know how much goes into every single line call and line play. And I respected the tweet because there is so much you have to do as a lineman on any, on every single play. It's yeah. mind blowing. Everybody just thinks, all right, go out there and get the guy in front of you. That's not, yeah. that's not what it's about. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's not what it's about. Yeah, and honestly, the last couple of weeks I've I've been like before the Columbus stuff. I was like, man, I give Garrett credit for this new like running scheme, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe it's Joe Judge too. Uh, <laughs> supposedly, the picture is Sasha Banks from the WWE. So, not nice. We screwed that one up. We, um, oh man, we did. You know what? Actually, I heard that it was going to rain tomorrow for Thanksgiving, and now it's not. And I totally think Joe Judge had that canceled. Well, Joe Judge loves the rain. That's the thing. Joe, that's, yeah, Joe, that's rain is, means fundamentals for Joe Judge. Not on Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> what do you do? You do you got anything like special you do for Thanksgiving? Obviously, this year is a little different. Uh, no, I will tell you something cool. My my brother, who lives in Florida, um, he's sixty three. My brother has had a a high school, junior high school, junior high school turkey bowl since it's on its 55th year. And last year was the last year. 55 years they played or something like that. And last year was the last year. And uh, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do tomorrow. Um, I used to wake up, you know, at, I don't know, 10 years old. They used to used to allow me like one or two plays. And then at 12, I was allowed like five plays. And then at 13, I took over the game all the way up until whatever. And I don't even know what to do with myself tomorrow. Man, you got a game? You got a football game we can go to? Nah, man. My family is just too many old people, you know? Like, <laughs> no, not not even old people. My parents who aren't like, you know, like my my family, they beat the crap out of themselves. Like riding dirt motorcycles. Like my dad was in a ditch, like with a broken <laughs> back from a dirt, like a dirt bike accident. Like they're just too old to be playing football. We'll go around, throw the ball around and stuff. I but like a full on game, we haven't done that in a few years. Oh man, that's that's it's it's football on Thanksgiving morning, um, and I want to be I want to be stuffed and freaking laying on the couch by like three o'clock. You know what so, sucks, and I know it makes sense. There's no steel. I was looking forward to that Steelers Ravens game so much. I, I I really was. Now I moved to Sunday, but you know what's funny? People say a oh, horrible take. I don't know if you saw that on Twitter as well. Someone's like, I'm tired of calling it thanksgiving dinner when it should be thanksgiving lunch and i'm like horrible take because thanksgiving should be i don't know about you guys you have to be eating by four o'clock oh we eat at like 233 all right everybody we're eating during the lions game every year of course i can't believe that take i should have screenshotted that too except for now last year i was with my family the few years before that I was with my church, who's mostly Hispanic people, and I love it. It's 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 turkey, and then everything we have every time we get together is turkey, <laughs> rice, <laughs> that's, uh, that's enchiladas, awesome. empanadas. <laughs> but we, chicken you do have chicken and rice. It you do matter. have the turkey, but everything else is just the same as every other week. I love it. I um, love it. Hey, it's a, honestly though. Uh, I'm going to get serious for a second. Listen, this is not the year that we should be sitting back wanting things. It should be the year that we should be happy with what we have. So uh, if, if you have family and you're getting together with that family, man, I, I'm jealous because everybody is on their own, scared out of their mind still, whether you believe in COVID or not. I don't, I'm not getting into the politics. Yeah, we know there. you don't believe it. It's cool. It, yeah, you're you damn right I believe in it. I just happen to still go, <laughs> I just still happen to go to the Giant Games. But uh, other than that, uh, you know, you people do what they want and, I just hope they get to spend it with some family and some loved ones. That's it. Yep. Yep. Simple as that. Where is your brother live in Florida? Uh, my, my brother lives in Boynton. Bye. How rude is that guy? He just, he just hung up on me. How rude. What a rude person. So rude. So rude. Just hung up on me. He said, uh, don't ask me where my brother's from. Yeah. All right. My, let's uh, go. Sorry. my, uh, my brother lives in Boynton. My, Parents, rest their soul, both of them. Uh, also, Boynton for uh, 10 years, and then my dad lasted another 10, another five years. So, uh, you know, we have Florida folks down there. I have a lot of cousins and stuff like that. So I uh, I love Florida, bro. Come, hit me up next time you're down here. Um, no question. We do. We just kind of we just kind of go to Florida. People who hate on Florida, I love Florida. It's like, oh, they're crazy down here. I like that. I'd rather have crazy I wanna, than I snobby. Go, I want to. I want to freak. Come. I want to co- clean some pools. I want to do so. Let's go, bro. Do it. Do it. <laughs> um, I can get. I mean, I, I'm right. I'm right by the beach. We'll give you. I'll give you the Florida experience. Even though. Do it. 
you'll be you it's nothing compared to like aruba or anything um that, that's okay man well you know what i'll take you we'll head down we'll drive down 95 to miami we'll pick up kiwanuka and roll and we'll go have some dinner i like it i like it i'm i'm bringing justin and danny down sometime next year to the keys that's or something to, you that's know. awesome let me know when that happens I'll, I'll swing down i really will Sounds good oh see this is danny king Speaking of, I only like Miami. Every other part of Florida I don't like. I'm the opposite. Miami is the only part of Florida I don't like. How? First of all, how could you not like Miami? How could you not like going out for a couple of drinks to Clevelander or whatever, or go across the street to the beach? You're, Miami's phenomenal. And then you just get on 95 and drive an hour to where you want to be. Yeah, the beaches are nice. But like the nightlife, I'm not a bit like, – I'd rather just go to like a regular low-key like bar or club. The, everything is so expensive down there. And – it just feels like you're going to get into this is this is great giant stream right here, but it just feels like you're just half a second away from confrontation at all times. <laughs> Someone trying to rob you. Like last time I was down there, um, staying at a hotel, park our car, pay for parking, and some guy from the hotel next, he's like, oh, It's twenty dollars to park here. You need to put or like it's like it literally says to pay right there. Like it's not and my mind, like we didn't fall for, but it's like how many people just give that guy twenty bucks so they have peace of mind of their car at night? <laughs> that means that means nothing to me, bro. I'm from I'm from New York, so that's that's typical. That's typical. Yeah, you know. Funny story. We were nineteen or twenty, and we went down the Miami, went down the South Beach, and you know I don't I don't drink like I used to, but we we were drinking, and my best friend who's wearing white shorts. Or another friend's like, he's like, if you get your tongue pierced, I'll pay for it. And everyone else is like, no, like I'm not getting my tongue pierced. My my, my friend's like, sure, I'll do it. Oh, so he's been drinking. His out, his blood is thin. This is before we even went out. Or like we're like we really went out. So they pierce his tongue, and he just starts leaking blood. And so he just has a blood white spot shorts. right on the crotch of his white shorts, walking around South Beach. <laughs> oh man, he got mad you know, at the period joke you know, we were making I mean, that whole night. If we're if we're teaching a history lesson here as as an athletic director and health certified, you know that the tongue bleeds the most on the body, right? I don't know if you knew that. No, I didn't know that. See, so you learn something new every day, bro. Yeah, I don't know if I really believe you. <laughs> no, that's right. Google it. But go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see. Got a lot of Florida people in the chat. I love it. I love it. Sweet. Um, there's nothing there. What are you talking about, Manny? Manny. Uh, oh, wait, he's talking about Florida. Yeah. Oh, I was kind of hoping see. he wasn't talking about our combo. Let's see. No problem. Everyone's been just talking about Florida. <laughs> People love your shirt. People really like your shirt. I remember, I remember that shirt, that shirt caused a, a Oh, I like that even better. I like that side better. That's pretty cool. So, so actually, if you want to know the truth, I have, I oh, can I can I tell you the story about this? Of course. Oh my goodness, I think I might have told you, but I'm gonna tell you guys now. So, so I have the I have this shirt in gray, and I'm selling them Friday for charity. Cool, cool. They're t-shirts. Let me tell you about this. There's a company that made this shirt. I did not make this shirt, right? I, this one I mean, but the T-shirt, the original idea came from this guy in Florida. And the guy, not a Giants fan, came up with this. I loved it, Bobby. I was like, where did you do this? I need, I need to get one of those right now. Blah, blah. I sent him 50 messages on private messenger on, on Twitter, right? Doesn't reach out. Doesn't get back to me. Finally, I sent him, I think... Either Instagram or, tw or Twitter, I don't remember. But then I'm like, listen, I will buy a hundred of those from you because my softball game is in two weeks. Send me whatever you have. I'll buy them all. Just give me a good price so I can make some money for the charity in two weeks. Don't hear anything from him. I'm two weeks away. I put it out on Twitter. Some, some T-shirt guy is like, oh, yeah, I can make those for you, LPG. Great. What's your phone number? I get them made. I start selling them at the event. Guess who comes a knocking? I remember all this. I remember it all went down on Twitter. and <laughs> He was so mad. And I was like, dude, I sent you a million messages. And he got mad at me. He's like, he's like, well, you think everybody checks their DMs like that? Yeah, I do. Especially when you're selling stuff. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't. I, I in, in hindsight, I completely ripped them off. 
totally didn't mean anything by it. I love it. It's you know what it you know what you know what it bothers me. I put up people send me messages. I have a, a ten thousand messages I've not read in my inbox. All right, but people send me pictures. Either they made it or they stole it. And if I like something, if I saw this, if, if you sent me this, Bobby, in a in a direct message, and I happen to see it, and it was you didn't make it, and I cropped it and put it up. If the owner of it commented like, "Oh, LPG, you're such an asshole. You just stole my picture. It took me forever to make that." One, I didn't know you made it, and two, okay, let me give you credit for it. Yeah. Why do people get so mad at that? Because they they. It's go back to the Jordan Raining because they spent all their time on it. They want credit. Yeah. But if you don't know where it comes from, don't yell at the person. I don't know. That's yeah. just me. Anyway, yeah, and you, you'll get more credit that. by playing nice. Um, play nice. Play nice. Um, let's. There's one more question, and then we'll we'll shout out the the auction later. LPG, where's the Joe Judge jersey? You did have a Pat Shermer one. Where's the Joe Judge number twenty eight Mississippi right. State one? I am. All right, Chris. I love that you brought that up. Uh, it's on. It'll be here before Christmas. It is. You want me to tell you what it is? Yeah. It's a Mississippi State front. It's a Giants uh, back. Uh, the number is 20 because hired. He has. I have the patch of him sliding in the water. Okay. I have the patch of him holding up his three friends, three teammates. That's a good that's a really good picture. And underneath that, it says take a lap. Man, you're and getting it all. Back, yeah, I like and it. And on the back, under the number, it's uh the date he won his first game. Which is I don't choose a choose a Redskin game and well you'll find. I know it's October seventeenth. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. So so Chris, thanks for asking. It's on order. It's uh the patches take a really long time to do because you know they're not you know they're like they're like real they're like real patches yeah so it, it takes takes a long time the jerseys themselves don't take that long but you know whatever and i'm making one more hopefully he'll sign it cool he will he will i watched that video today of like him talking with the fans and usually i kind of ignore that stuff for some reason that just put like the biggest smile on my face. And I'm not, I don't really get into like the sappy, like and it wasn't sappy, but for some reason I was just like that. That's really cool. Me too. I thought it was great as a season ticket holder. I like when the giants do stuff like that. Um, they don't do it all the time, but sometimes they come up with these fantastic ideas. That was a great one. How about the, uh, the ring of honor jerseys? That was pretty cool. I, I was, and that's a college thing is like, you know, like, even doing scout players of the week. But yes. I thought that was pretty cool, like putting those jerseys on. Like those would be cool pictures like years from now, you know, more than totally anything. Totally agree. Totally agree. And yeah. you know what's funny? Chad Slade looked like Chris Nate. I know. I know. That was like, <laughs> I was like oh my God. And I forgot. Um, uh, it'll be weird when they put Eli on there. I will be honest. I, I you know, it's just so fresh. I'd be like, no, that 10 doesn't belong on anybody besides 10. I'll tell you what, I'll break news on your show right now. So uh, I have two funny stories for you. So you brought up Eli Manning, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, Eli was nice enough to sign a couple of things for me. So I sent him five jerseys. He signed three. What didn't he sign? You sent him five jerseys. He... I don't know. You you tell me. <laughs> well, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. No, I don't know. I They're on there somewhere. He didn't sign uh, some game two them, memorabilia. Two of them with Odell on it. Really? Wow. He didn't sign. I have a, a Newman, a Newman front uh, with just like this. I've seen that one. one. One's Eli, one's Odell. He didn't sign it. I've seen you showed me that one the last time we yeah. talked. And uh, then I have a Giants, and I have a Giants one which says OBJ and Eli. He didn't sign that one either. Wow. Bad blood. Um, all right. <laughs> We've been going for 45 minutes. Instagram, Friday night, 8 p.m. At license plate guy. Sweet. What will be going down? Okay, nothing because it's from 3 to 5. 
So three to five, uh, you changed it. No, I, I changed it. I changed. I did because I me and you with time, like <laughs> our jokes become not jokes, and we end up screwing each other. <laughs> I uh, the original time was eight p.m., but uh, I'm not doing anything Friday, so I changed it to three to five. Uh, listen, man, I don't. Even, Bobby, you want to know the truth? I don't even know how I'm going to keep track of. I don't even know if I'm, how I keep track. Like, like you're going to jump on my Instagram live. You go, oh, life split guy. Uh, you know, I, I need I need that bucket hat, yo, know, dude. Like, I I need it. Like, please, I'll give you fifty bucks for that hat. And then, if what if I don't see it? You're gonna have to you have to write the same thing again and again and again. Like, I need someone just to watch the, you know, the bids, I guess, or something. I'm still or trying just to be like, out my head. be like. When, are you going to be like, okay, this goes to this person in it? Because obviously you, you can't. I, I would assume so. I'm trying to figure it out in my head. Oh, I know what you you're going to do. You got to tell them to DM you in the bid, like with the bid for with with the bid on it. And, you know, and yeah, then like, all right, Venmo me or whatever you do. You're going to want this, bro. You're definitely going to want this. I like that. I used to wear one of those a ton. Now I need Maybe. to get as much sun as possible because I work inside. <laughs> That's true. But someone someone's going to need this hat. I man. might I might have to run in there and grab that one. I mean, it's just, I mean, I mean, look at me. Where are we I starting the bidding at? I look ridiculous right now. What are we starting the bidding at? See, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, what do I do about something like this? Like, I'm not letting it go for like 25 bucks. Like, I'm not. But you start to put a hat in there for 50 bucks and people are like, that's stupid. It's a hat. What do you do? I'm the memorabilia. Me, right? Memorabilia will, will, will raise for sure. Like the hat is like, people think oh, I can get that hat anywhere. The, st the memorabilia, the cleats. That's the kind of stuff one people want to pay for, and they'll feel like, because you know how like, and I actually like this people, and I've realized like people want to help and give charity. Like, well, I might as well, you know, give it to something where I'm getting something back, you know. So yes, uh, you know what? It's funny you say that. Uh, somebody bought. I had uh, tickets donated to the game on Sunday. Uh, I I know that they're cheaper online. Someone bought two tickets today. I said, I'll tell you what. I'll give them to you right now via email. Uh, you send the check right to the charity. They sent the they sent it, and I sent the tickets. And I'm like, that's how it's done. Like such great giant fans. Like he literally paid a lot of money to get two tickets. I mean, and they're right behind the bench, but the but it's still the Burrowless, you know, COVID Central Bengals versus the Giants. So, but but stuff like that is cool. And you're right. Uh, you know, if they give stuff to memorabilia, uh, for memorabilia, it probably will go away uh, a longer way. Yeah, yeah. It, the memorabilia, like it, it, it'll sell. I mean, you, I mean, you know, you've done some of this stuff more. Yeah. More, to and, answer and, your question, I'm probably not getting rid of the hat. But sorry, go ahead. Next. I, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna find it. Uh, then whenever I do I come up there, I'm just, whenever I do, because one day I'm gonna come to your house, and I'm just gonna take something, and you're not gonna <laughs> notice. I hope you know I, that. I. It's so funny. So, so. so I I knew that already, so I I installed those up there. <laughs> I think I give a damn about that. Yeah, no, you probably you do. You call probably call do the police on me. Like, like, yeah, come down to Florida. Come prosecute me down in Florida. <laughs> um, but you know what? I I actually did that because I had a worker, you know, like a painter in the house one day, and you know, it was like, how do I even? Know? I, I have five hundred, four hundred something jerseys. I have no idea. You might have taken ten. And I'm like, you know what? I think I need. I think I need cameras in my in my house. Yeah, cameras yeah. help. Even if you just yeah. get like the the fake ones from the flea market that are. <laughs> yeah, just... Dude, get those too. <laughs> I have those. Those are the best. Yeah. Uh, but they're always once you have them, you, you just spot them out. Like, like, oh, that's a fake camera. So <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that. F so it's like the people who know what they are is like they don't they don't stop anybody. So that's funny. Um. So eight o'clock or three to five p.m. License plate guys Instagram will be you know auctioning stuff out. For the charity, it's the St. Christopher's, right? Yeah, St. Chris. St. Christopher. What do you think? I like that. Good. Oh, I love that. He's my favorite player. Nobody has anything negative to say about him. Um, <laughs> I feel like he got a lot of hate for that, which like he does, like he's annoying. But like I, I also part was like he didn't do like the worst thing in the world, and then the, it, it suspended him for one game. Okay, but he, he's just Every, kind of everything about that was awesome. His 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 hand, meaning what he had in it, and his wife trying to maybe get a trade before the trade deadline. That's what they were doing. They were doing their Correct. best to get traded. Correct. Completely failed. Joe Judge caught it. Slap on the wrist. 
to the public. Your ass is mine for a game. Publicly apology, public apology. Everything goes by the wayside. That's how it's handled. Yeah. That's yeah, how he, it's handled. He was 100% trying to force his way in a trade. Hell it, yeah. You know, the throw me the damn ball thing. That was like, okay, that's not I great, but whatever. That. Don't give then his wife does the thing. It's like, that's really annoying. But at the end of the day, it is your wife. And then he was liking tweets of being like Giants trade or cut to Golden Tate. I feel like that was what pushed it over the edge right there. I'm agreeing with that last one. Don't go and say you didn't have a hand in it when you're liking stuff from your account. I'm surprised. Yeah. You know what? How much worse could it have been if he was like, I got hacked? Or, you know, he could have made it 10 times worse. Instead, I'm sorry. I have to get better. Now throw me to damn ball. Yeah. Like I, it's it's the way receivers are. Um, the issue is that he's a slot receiver and every ball is like a perfectly placed football where he, he makes crazy catches, but it's like that's not what a slot receiver is, Golden State. <laughs> <laughs> and I want so. I want a slot receiver to come across the middle, catch a ball, and run 70 yards. Yes, yes. Which he did <laughs> a little bit of last year. Um, I uh, want I want I want Danny De Palma back. Like last year, I was with his production last year. I was like, I was happy with Golden Tate. People were like, well, he doesn't get separation. I was like, okay, he gets production. He got production. He got touchdowns. He got yards. He got production. Yeah. Uh, where this year, it's been it's been a little different. I mean, like you said, he make he makes some makes some catches, man. He makes some catches. <laughs> I you know. Throw, you throw him the ball, ninety percent of the time he's coming down with it in traffic. Yeah, yeah. So give us more one on ones with Golden Tate downfield, Jason Garrett. <laughs> Listen to that. Um, all right, three to three to five Friday at License Plate Guy on Instagram. Be there, get some cool stuff, and help out the St. Chris. They didn't Wait, get the same support that you were without the couple. I'll screw this no, whole no, thing up for you if you want me to. <laughs> it's three to five. Stop it. Stop it. My fault. Should I show our DMs? This is where our DMs. I was like, hey, what's better, six thirty or seven? And you're like, doesn't <laughs> matter. I say, okay, seven. And you're like, oh, I was gonna say six thirty. And then I was like, okay, nine as a joke. And then you're like, okay, 5.30 as a joke. And then I was like, okay, but for real, 6.30. And then at 6.30, I'm like, hey, dude, where are you? Where are you? <laughs> oh, you said seven. Yeah, it's actually a comedy of errors. Good stuff. All right, thank you, guys. If you haven't liked, subscribe, do it. And then uh, go uh, be a part of the auction on Friday night. Dude, talking Giants. Always love you, Bobby. Thank you.